So it seems Ghana is now utilizing the full potential of almost everything the country is blessed with. From adding value to their natural resources in their own country to producing additional new fruit juice from cocoa pot pulp. And now they are saving their forest by producing charcoal from grass instead of trees. It's very easy to make it. And I believe that it's going to help the community. Anyone who is interested and you learn it is going to help you. And we are going to talk about it in this particular video. But in case your question is, Sheriff, why are you talking about charcoal in 2023? Whilst the world is more advanced to the point that we are now cooking with magnetic induction hubs and solar cookers, which are more cleaner and energy sustainable. Well, by the end of this video, you will understand why this charcoal from grass innovation is something amazing. But before everything, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now, let's dive into it. Our world is experiencing a historic heat. In fact, according to the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, the era of global warming has ended and we are now in the era of global boiling. The era of global warming has ended. The era, the era of global boiling has arrived. He said this after scientists confirmed that July this year was the month that recorded the world's hottest month in recent history. The World Meteorological Organization and the European Commission's Copernicus Climate Change Service are releasing official data that confirms that July 2023 is set to be the hottest month ever recorded in human history. And this is all because of climate change. Climate change simply means causing our Earth atmosphere to warm. This warmness is caused by human activities, which is leading to more frequent and several heat waves. Heat waves are a serious threat to the health and well-being of humanity. They can cause heat strokes, heat exhaustion, and other health problems. Heat waves can also lead to power outages, water shortages, and crop failures. So, if climate change is such a big threat to humanity, what are some of our activities causing it? Well, burning fossil fuels, deforestation, agriculture, industrial processes and transportation are some of human activities causing climate change. This pie chart right here represents the global greenhouse gas emission by economic sector. And it shows that electricity and heat production contribute about 25% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And agriculture, forestry, and other land use contribute 24%. And these two are the highest. So that is why I said at the beginning of this video that Ghana's tackle from grass innovation is something amazing. Look, a research conducted by the University of California shows that about 80% of households in Ghana cook by burning bio mass like wood, charcoal, and crop residue in open fires. And again, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, cooking with wood can cause between 0.4 to 0.6 pounds of CO2 emission per hour. Charcoal causes between 0.5 to 0.7 pounds, gas 0.2 to 0.3, and electric can cause just 0.1 pound. And one serious thing about the charcoal is that it also causes deforestation because behind every beautiful black charcoal, there is a dead tree, which is a major cause of global boiling. That is why a university called Miller Institute for Transdisciplinary and Development Studies is in collaboration with food and agricultural organization has developed a new production method to convert savannah grass into charcoal. This approach is designed to capitalize on the potential of Ghana savanna regions grasses to reduce fire risk and forest degradation. More than 6 million individuals in Ghana savanna region rely on wood, fuel, and tree charcoal for their cooking needs. But as we all know, our traditional charcoal production methods in Ghana are unsustainable and have resulted in deforestation and environmental degradation. This issue is getting worse by the day. But this charcoal from grass is unlike conventional charcoal which is derived from tree-based biomass. These grass breakers are made using harvested grass combined with binding agents which forms compact charcoal bricks. 
This methodology is more efficient, making brick production simpler. This technology has created a market for green cooking fuel. For every 100 kilograms of grass charcoal utilized, two trees are conserved, which translate to 76 kilograms of annual carbon credits. According to an analysis by Miller Institute, the broad adoption of grass charcoal has the potential to counteract over 44,000 tons of carbon annually representing a potential revenue stream of 4.4 million Ghana cities from carbon offset credits. The institute has so far overseen the production and adoption of grass charcoal in partnership with five forest and farm producer groups. So, to boost the grass charcoal's market presence, the project team is again developing grass paper as a packaging solution for the charcoal. This addition aims to increase the sales price and enhance product recognition. But there is a problem with this charcoal and the problem is the cost. Because currently, producing grass charcoal costs 100 Ghana cities per 100 kilos, which is roughly double the price of wood charcoal. But this higher cost is contributed to the added ingredients needed, like the binding agents. And again, the grass used in making this charcoal is not free. They are bought from communities. So to address this problem, the project leaders are collaborating with green energy specialists and policy makers to support the market for green grass charcoal. So that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this inside the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. My name always remains Sharif Haruna. Have an amazing life and see you in our next video. Makrao.